Hi guys, my name is Kevin from vacuumcleanermarket.com and this video is going to be all about Miele vacuum bags. We're going to go over installation, maintenance, and then point out a couple features that make Miele vacuum bags the best in industry. Stay tuned. what we're gonna do is focus on the four main Miele vacuum bags. They're FJM, GN, these are gonna be used on canister vacuum cleaners. Style U, these are for the full size upright vacuums. And KK, these are used for the stick vacuums. Now, Miele is known for its world class filtration and it's all gonna start with these premium quality vacuum bags here. Now, each box has four bags or the KKs have five and they each come with two spare filters as well. So we're going to touch on that later on, but let's get into the installation and vacuum bag maintenance of your vacuum. Alrighty, vacuum bag maintenance, here we go. So rule one is don't overfill the vacuum bag. Pretty simple, but it's amazing how many people make this mistake. So the Mila comes with a indicator bar here. So as your bag gets too far full, it's going to turn orange and this happens gradually as the machine calculates the airflow that's coming through. It can tell how full, how stressed the vacuum bag is. Now the main reason you don't want it to be too full is first of all you'll lose performance but also it's going to stress out the motor. Anytime your vacuum can't pull air in freely, um, the motor gets hot, it overheats, and could cause long-term damages. Now another downfall of overfilling the vacuum bag is it could also cause cloggage. So as the vacuum bag gets full, the dirt and debris that you pick up has nowhere else to go in the bag and it starts collecting up into where the hose would be here. So this could cause jams in your hose as well, so not a very good thing. How do you tell when your bag's too full? Well, other than the sensor, if you open this top, you kind of poke it and it feels really, really firm, like a really firm pillow, it's, it's way too full. They say about 75% of your bag should be filled and then it's about time for a new one. So, um, number two, bag installation. The uh, bag has this top collar here and it's just gonna slide gently in and out of this bag holder here. When you push it all the way in, you might hear a little, a little clip sound. That's how you know it's insecure. Really, really simple. Slides in, slides out. You just grab this little handle on the collar. Um, really easy stuff. So, now a mistake that you don't want to make that some people do is this bag holder. This bag holder is here to stay. We've had lots of customers call and say their housekeeper or they actually threw it away thinking it was part of the bag. So, the bag just has this collar, it's attached this part needs to stay on your vacuum cleaner as this is the clip that the bag goes into. Now the final part of installation is vacuum filters. So each box of bags comes with two filters so generally at the end of each box when you're putting in your last bag you'll take these two filters and replace them as well. So one filter is rectangular, it's a little bit long. That one's gonna go and get put in on this top. This is the exhaust filter here. This is what the air gets blown through. It's the final stage of filtration before it's released. And the next filter is a motor filter. It's a little more square and this one's gonna go in a cage behind the vacuum here. So both filters really really easy to change and you get them free with the bag so you might as well stay up and maintain them this one's going to help protect the motor this one's really going to help remove finer particles of air um, the only time you wouldn't use this top one the exhaust filter is if you have a HEPA filter or you've upgraded to um, a charcoal filter or something like that. In that case, this whole cage is going to pull off and be removed and the whole HEPA filter or charcoal filter will snap in. So that's about it for bag maintenance and bag installation. All 
Alrighty, so let's go over some of the features that make the Mila vacuum bags the best in the business. Um, let's just start with the construction. So each vacuum bag, if you've ever held one in your hand, they're really, really thick. Almost feel like a blanket, they're so thick. And the reason for this is they have nine different layers of randomly spun fibers. So what this does is, first of all, it filters the air great, but it also makes them very durable. So anything you can possibly pick up in your vacuum cleaner is not gonna poke a hole or tear these vacuum bags. When you use other brands bags or you have another vacuum cleaner that has cheaper bags, um, some customers will pick up a little tiny nail or something, pokes a hole in their vacuum bag. Next time they go to change their bag, Bags ripped, dust, dirt, everything's all inside the vacuum. Well, it's not only filthy messy, but it can also possibly damage the vacuum motor. So that's never gonna happen with these bags. Now, another great feature is this collar. So with this plastic collar, and the bag holder inside the vacuum, it's really easy, push in, pull out, that's how you get the vacuum bag installation. Other brands just has a hole, you kinda have to push it on, make sure it's on right, if it's not, the air pressure will just blow it right off, so you don't have to worry about with that with these Mila vacuum bags. Now, it's also gonna have this spring-loaded lid. So what makes that really cool is when you're ready to change your vacuum bag, you just pull this little handle here, your vacuum bag comes off and this little spring top is going to shut close, sealing in all the dirt and debris you just, you know, picked up and collected in the bag. So for asthma and allergy sufferers, this is really important. And Mila, as allergy and asthma, HEPA conscious as they are, this is a cool little feature that they built in. So another great thing about the new Mila vacuum bags, the 3D bags, is this little seam they put in. So they slightly changed the design, the layout of the bag, and they claim it holds 20% more dirt and debris inside the bag. So you get a little bit more bang for your buck. So that's pretty cool. Now the last neat thing they have is color coding. So FGM is red, GN is blue, U is green, and KK is yellow. So instead of remembering the letters, if you want, you can go into your local store, say what color Mila vacuum bag have you have, and they should be able to know what it is. Or if you're looking at pictures like on our website, trying to decide which one you need, it's gonna be really easy. Just remember blue and you'll be set for life. So um, that about wraps it up. If you like our video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below or give our 1-800 number a call. So we just like to thank you for watching our video and we hope you enjoyed it.